You're listening to Short Inspirations from Ralph. Ten Things Your Child Should Catch You Doing Part 3 Here's the fourth thing out of ten. Your child should catch you laughing and smiling and drenching your home with good humour. Someone said laughter is the language of the soul. There is something healing about laughter, and a kid gets to know that everything's all right in the world when there is smiles around and their little hearts are cheerful. And that's the term that the writer of Proverbs uses in Proverbs 17.22. A cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. A strong home is a home of fun. Laugh until your belly hurts, and then just a bit more. My brother Jim laughed all the time, and I used to joke that you could hear him coming a few blocks away because of his laughter. And he had this knack of, it's like a challenge to him, of making people smile and laugh who were normally serious. And I used to envy that because he would get away with it. Our kids were brought up with that old radio program, The Goon Show. And even now, some of our children are playing it to our grandchildren. But some of the sayings from, or quips from that Goon Show are still being reverberated around our family today. I remember being in the South Island with my Cortina station wagon and family there and we were travelling along and I got stopped by a traffic cop and I must have been, I think I was speeding a bit much. Anyway, the traffic officer came over to the window and said, you're speeding, sir. And every now and then my children (laughs) would say that to me, you're speeding, sir. And it's not so much a jibe, but it was really just a bit of fun. The kids were all brought up with board games. We would sit round the table and just play all sorts of board games and card games. And to this day, they're still doing that. And it was sort of like an arena of fun. We would go outside and play games in the yard. Cricket games, basketball games, all sorts of things that we did to create this thing called fun. Number five, our children should catch us guarding our homes. What do I mean by that? I mean that we as parents or a parent become the guardian of our children's little minds and the stuff that comes into their systems. Screens and TVs and computers are great tools. They can entertain us, educate us, help us even to relax. But also they can welcome pure evil right into our homes. And our children soak in whatever is offered. And the question is, if there are things in a movie, etc. that I wouldn't want my children to see and hear then why should I myself allow it into my own heart and mind? Listen to this from Paul, Philippians 4.8, summing it all up, friends. I'd say you do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious. The best, not the worst. The beautiful, not the ugly. Things to praise, not things to curse. When our kids were very young, we used to, in school age, we used to restrict their screen or television time, it was more in those days, during the week, particularly when they were doing homework. And at times, and for a number of years, we watched a soap opera on TV, a well-known one. And it was one where life revolved around alcohol and the pub etc etc actually our children questioned this why are we watching that 
And we looked at each other and we said the same thing. Why are we watching that when we're restricting stuff for our children? So we stopped it straight away. And so we become guardians, real guardians of our children, putting in filters and preventing unlimited access to the internet. And my attitude was, who cares what other kids or other families are doing? This is what this family is going to do. God bless you today.